So we talk about tagging our posts or putting a note on them. This post right here has three tags, map, tests, and videos, but this post has none. So let's look at this post. Over here on the right side on Blogger is Labels. You click in that box and the three tags that I have for my other post are in there, but there's nothing else. I'm not going to choose map, tests, or video for this. Well, I could choose video for this one because we have a video in the bottom of this, which is the hump day video from Geico. But I also think I need to add that it's a trial post or maybe it's an instructional post for students because we used it in class. I could add camel. I could add Geico. And you just separate them by commas just like it says and then you click done. And it's done and they're labeled. Now what's the benefit of this? Let's hit update and I'll show you. Here if you go to view the blog underneath it it says what the labels are now I can look at all of my posts that have a video in them if I click on video and it shows the map changes and tips and the one with the Geico commercial in it so if I go to another video another website where I have my own blog I can look under this one and see what the tags are on this one. Beach, discomfort, engagement, genius hour, and rules. And of course, I have a ton of blogs on genius, about genius hour. Not all of mine are, but most of them are. And I have made it a, what do you call those on the right side? Let's see. I've made it a gadget to have it on the right side to have all of my labels here and they come up almost as a wordle so they're bigger if there are more posts about them so I can click on genius hour and boom all of my posts about genius hour show up I don't have to look through anything else the one I like to share with other teachers is close reading and it has three posts on there for close reading a lot of my ELA teacher friends like that label so that's the value in labeling your posts. I have another blog, which is, what are my blogs? Passion, Purpose, and Product. I'm going to go to that blog. I'm just going to view it. And if I look at the tags on the bottom of these, I have Genius Hour 4 on one of them. I have Genius Hour 3, 2, and 1. And what I should do on the right side of this is put the labels. But there's Genius Hour 3, so anything that was with Genius Hour 3 is there. Anything with Genius Hour 2, there's different projects I've done. And there you go. So my whole Genius Hour 2 project is here from day one. Celia Dore's poetry about me finishing the book. So that's the value in labels, and I hope you find that it's easy to do. If you go under posts, you will see all your labels here. And you can always add labels or take labels away. And don't forget to add your gadget that will share your labels. What's it called? Labels. You just have to add it here. It will take you through it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Go ahead and add labels.